It says that you're muted. Apparently. Okay, we're okay now. We're good now. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry about all that. Were they on Telegram waiting for me? Um, all for the video? Yeah. No, there was a different link on YouTube, and I think there were like three people waiting. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry that that happened. Okay, please ask, ask your question, and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, so my question was the difference between um, the Son of Man and Jesus of Nazareth, because I know that there's, from my understanding, from what I've known before, that Jesus of Nazareth and Christ Jesus are two different things. Yes. Um, and then is the Son of Man and Christ Jesus, are they the, the same type of idea or is it something different? Um, okay. Yeah. One, one, one at a time. It's, it's, it's me again. One at a time. Um, so what Jesus. is it? Go ahead. I guess, so what is the difference between the Son of Man and Jesus of Nazareth? Okay. Je oh, that's a good question. Jesus of Nazareth was a human being, born of a woman, born of his mother Mary. Okay. The Son of Man is a spiritual man. He is the man-child of Revelation chapter 12. Okay. Okay. He's the son of man. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to make my answer simple. Is that good enough for you? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so why do people say that the son of man and Jesus of Nazareth are the same thing? Or why do people say that? Because they don't understand they, they don't understand. Jesus is, well, Jesus of Nazareth in the days of his flesh was the son of God. And so are you and so am I. Everyone that has the spirit of God is, is a son of God. But Jesus was the son of God in the days of his flesh because God was incarnate in him. Now, that's a big misunderstanding in the church that they think Jesus, the physical man, was God. But the truth is that God incarnated in him. Do you know what that word means? Okay. That a spirit took on the flesh. Okay. But there was a difference between the flesh man who was on the outside and the spirit of God that was on the inside. Mm -hmm. So right, right now, you, this is true of all believers now. Christ is in you. Okay. But that doesn't, and Christ has supernatural powers, but that doesn't make and Christ is the Son of God, but it doesn't make you the Son of God. He's inside of you. Okay, so is Christ and the Son of God, or Christ and the Son of God are the same thing? Is Christ and the Son? That's a very good question. It gets very confusing. Whenever I see the word Christ, I have to look at the interlinear text because it's not always translated accurately. Sometimes it's Christ alone. Sometimes it's Christ Jesus. Sometimes it's Jesus Christ. And, and sometimes it's, it's, it's the Christ. And so you have to take the context of the verse. So to answer your question, is Jesus Christ? Okay. Christ is a Greek word that means the anointed. It means the anointed one. And the anointed one is a spiritual man. The anointed one, the creation of God, is Adam, righteous Adam. Okay. And he is a spiritual man. Okay. I'm sorry. What was what was the question, Hannah? Oh, is Jesus the Christ? Yes. So, Jesus of Nazareth in the days of his flesh, okay, was the Christ, okay, because the anointed one of God was inside of him. And when the, when, when the anointed one of God wanted to speak, he spoke through Jesus' mouth and he used his body. So it was very difficult to understand that Jesus was two people. He was Jesus of Nazareth, born of Mary, and he was also Christ because the anointed one of God so completely possessed him that everything that he did and said was Christ, was the anointed one. Okay, so that makes sense with the whole Jesus of Nazareth joining. 
Um, so is so with Christ in in different forms. So it so the it's the anointing. So Christ is the anointing of God. Then, yes, the anointing with the Holy One of God. Yes. Okay. But it's and spiritual. So that, okay, and so is that why um, when it says like Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus? Is it because it's it's the that it's that anointing that's going into that thing then? That's a good question. You have to look at the context of the verse. Christ Jesus is the only mediator between God and man. Christ Jesus, the man Christ Jesus. He is a man and his name is Adam. He is the man Adam, the creation of God. Okay. And he is the mediator between human beings like us and God. So the translation is confusing. Okay. It says the man Christ Jesus, the only mediator between God and man. Okay. But there's a man is said twice, but it means two different things. Okay. The man Christ Jesus, the mediator, is a spiritual man, righteous Adam, the glorified Jesus Christ. And he's a mediator between ma a man like us like a human being. Mm -hmm. So the translation is, is unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think that's what, what tripped me up was the, the, the word man, because I, I saw it as a physical man instead of mm -hmm. like a spiritual male role. So mm -hmm. is that kind of what the son of man means is the, the spiritual male? Yes. Okay. He's Christ in you. Christ in you. The hope of glory is the son of man. Okay. Okay. I, I think that's kind of all that I was thinking. And that that's as much as I can comprehend from the, from that part of the message. But that was, it was good. Cause I, the Trinity has been a very tricky thing for me to understand. So that, mm -hmm. I'm glad that I was able to kind of pick that up a little bit easier. I'm so glad. I'm so sorry. What happened to your brothers? Were they were they waiting in Telegram for me? They might have been, or they might have been on YouTube. There, because the original link that you sent, you didn't you didn't do the video on that original original link. No, I couldn't access it. I'm so sorry. Okay, so if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. 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 God bless and thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you.